where fine artists are doing design work and designers are now doing fine art, but it's what's really I find really interesting with that is that you can tell right away who a designer is and you see them making fine art or making something artistic and creative because design as design as you know it's you're always looking for what purpose is this serving? What problem am I solving? And that's actually I find that really difficult because every time I make something it's like why am I doing this? Like I don't really want to express myself, my feelings, because there's enough people doing it. So when I make my own work, it's always like, okay, what am I trying to figure out here? And that's basically, I find with a lot of my book arts, it's okay, I'm just curious. Let's just see what happens. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And now I know for future. I actually had like that that I learned in design that it gives you that breathing space you can step away from it because once you put it out there it's like okay fine this is the, for the world to figure it out once it's out there what you think about it is it's fair game now <laughs> like so you kind of gotta i think it's important to be able to step back and understand like every criticism is going to be different and it's always going to be easier for people to be negative than it is to be positive so i try not to get too attached although it's funny sometimes but at the same time it's people are going to think what they think about it i'm just curious to see if something's going to work it's not about okay i need to design a logo or in design practices it's all always about like yeah what's the function what is this who is this serving what's who's your target um with the work that i make the books that i do it's just all about curiosity I, like a lot of times I don't know if it's gonna work and those are the projects I'm more happier with in the end even the ones that aren't successful because it's I'm not I wasn't gonna know that until I actually did it probably the aha moment was um, when one book I cut out everything took everything out of it and watching people's reactions it's like oh okay I know what this is and they're just gonna flip it and then right when they stopped and realized what the hell? And then just watching them trying to figure out, okay, well, I know this is the table of contents. And then it just turned, moved into looking at it and then feeling the texture in it. And then it, then it moved into, oh, okay, I understand, sort of understand what you did here. And then watching people move to feeling the texture, looking at the light, and then just going through all of their senses of trying to figure out, okay, I know this, this little tiny little block of a letter, okay, that's a singular, singular word, so it's either A or I, and then watching people still trying to figure out how to read it, and so that was, that was the moment that was like, okay, I'm on to something here. <laughs> because it's a book, it's familiar enough, and it's recognizable, and most people are not afraid of it. My name is Emma Lecto. 